Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs today. I'm so excited to show you this house behind me. It's a three bedroom house called the Morley by Davidson's Homes. So we are at the Ark Hall Farm development in the Midlands and I'm so excited to show you this. All the details about the size, the price of this actual property are going to be in the description in a link that you click to read more from the developer's website. But in the meantime, if any of that sounds interesting, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. All right. Hi there, come inside. It's so cold outside. So it's really important that you get inside this nice and cozy house. So we are going to show you first impressions. Yes, it's going to be the front door. You've got a oh, generous size front door. I think it's like probably standard width. It could be slightly wider, but I definitely picked up on the fact that it does feel wide. You've got your little peep hole there, which is great for security. And I like the height because obviously it's great for teenagers. Uh, short people can use it too. There's a little key uh, fan light above the door as well, letting in light, completely private, but it's really good touch. And then you've got these kind of like either gold effect or brass plated fixtures it's a little touch but then apart from that everything else in the rest of the house is kind of chrome or silver plated or not silver chrome plated stainless steel that kind of shiny silvery effect um, now we are in the hallway i like the proportions of, of the hallway it's actually an l-shaped hallway and then as you can see you've got this luxury vinyl tiling on the floor and that continues to the main living area we've got a room just off here we've got the staircase right in front of me but you'll be interested to see the first room i'm going to show you which is the downstairs wc now this is actually really unique um, footprint to this um, property. It's an angled corner corner plot as well. So you're going to see a lot of angles in this property like here. And this is still very accessible for a toilet. You've got a two-piece suite, toilet and sink. And I like the proportions. They've gone with half height tiling. It's really nice size. There's a window as well, a large window, frosted, completely obscure and a little radiator at the bottom. So it's nice and warm and cozy. So back in the hallway, I'm going to just look at the eye mongery and the doors. The doors are your st um, traditional four panel doors on this particular development. And you've got chrome hardware as well, handles and hinges. Sockets are kind of your standard white as well. You've got your security. Um, sorry, that's actually your thermostat there, but this would be where your security panel would go. And then we've got a bonus storeroom, which is a perfect location for a cloak. So I would always advise, ask the developer to put in a light fixture, makes this, place, this space very, very practical. Shoes, prams, coats can go in there and it's right off the front door. So now you can see from this pers perspective, kind of what you see when you come straight in the house. And let's go into the first room, which is gonna be your formal lounge. Wow. So guys, apart from the decor, remember property vlogs, we're talking about um, the architecture and what you're getting space-wise and detail wise so the first thing i'm going to say is the ceiling heights seem like your standard 2.4 ceiling heights that's good um and then you've got your large double doors at the back did you notice there's a dual aspect to this room so you've got windows facing the back and the front i will show you that in a second don't want to kind of make you feel too dizzy by moving too fast double doors going straight to your back garden i love it we're going to show you the back garden a bit more in a second actually brian you can come a bit closer and just show them really quickly unfortunately we don't have access to the garden the doors are locked in this development so we're just going to show you a sneak peek as you can see there some very modest size they've landscaped it beautifully more than enough space for outdoor dining, barbecue area, and a little bit of lawn. And yes, that's there. Let me scoot round. There's a radiator here. We've got your focal point on that side. They've got your media panel over there as well, where your TV could go as an alternative option. And then you've got your windows at the front as well over there. It's a rectangular room. And yeah, it's a nice size. So let's keep moving. So there's still a little bit more on this floor. Let's go into the open plan kitchen dining space. So guys, yes, you do have a kind of a more traditional arrangement where you've got a formal uh, lounge and then your kitchen and dining are separate. The, this, but it's up to you. I do like to say they've staged this as a dining room, but you can make it a snug or living if you want to bring a TV in here. We've got several aspects over here. You've got a window facing 
the front, no, the side of the property, because it's an angled plot. You've got a door from the back, which is great for bringing out laundry as well. Great for access to the garden. Then you've got a window facing the garden this way because the plot is actually shaped like this. So you've got kind of a cradling of views, which is fantastic. And now I want to know where to start because I'm kind of in the middle of the kitchen right now. So let's start with the kitchen space. So in the kitchen, I am absolutely loving kind of this kind of mid gray color, very modern and contemporary um, kitchen that they've gone with here as well. You've got AEG double oven, which is integrated. You've got this wooden effect laminate worktop. Now, a lot of people are moving away from laminate, but there's nothing wrong with laminate. Beautifully done. It is so modern and it's just very practical and obviously very cost effective. Um, AEG induction hub there. So obviously that's a bit of a, mm, for people who like cooking with gas, but it's lovely. It's very modern and, you know, sle sleek as well. You've got a kind of a glass splashback there as well, which I love. It's an upgrade from a stainless steel splashback. I like that. And your extract fan there. You've got ample storage and the inside of the cupboards are actually color matched as well, which guys is actually a more expensive detail than going with your standard um, white interiors as well. So these are definitely quality kitchen cabinets. You've got your bank of sockets there <coughs> for your appliances to switch those off locally. And then this amazing, beautiful kind of glitter black uh, sink by Blanco. I love it. In a one and a half bowl. And this tap is so cool, isn't it? Mixer tap kitchen. It would be cool if this was like detachable. But again, these are upgrades. But this is quite nice for like your new build house kind of move in and, you know, start with this. There's a window right in front of the sink, which I absolutely love. Looking over the garden, you can imagine kids are playing. Or there's a barbecue and you don't feel kind of left out of the action and it's openable as well. There's more sockets on that side and there's storage underneath the sink. And of course, dishwasher over here. And then your fridge freezer here as well by Zanussi. Fabulous fridge, freezer. And do you wanna see just really quickly, let me just show you because the, um, the oven is integrated. We've got space for cutlery drawer under here and it's all on soft closer storage, storage, storage fantastic guys already showed you that so let's finish the kitchen tour and move on to this nice little nook which is a bonus for me and i'm sure you'll love it it is kind of like a laundry nook two machines can fit in there not integrated both of them to new city you can have your washing machine and your dryer separate which you know they do say it's good to have them separate rather than integrated consumer units there. You've got security alarm. There's a little extract vent as well, which is great for all these machines steaming up in here. That's lovely. Just ask the developer to put in a light so you can fold the laundry in there and it's all tucked away really nicely. So now coming back, got a radiator there, gorgeous dining table, six seater. They've kind of expanded it with this bench. I like the kind of light above. And then, like I said, there's a door facing that side, but let's keep moving and let's go to the first floor, shall we? Okay, I'm excited to show you this. So now we're on the first floor landing and as you can see, it, again, the shape of the landing is so unusual that it just shows you the angle nature of this house floor plan because it's a corner. I've said this so many times, but room number one, as you can see again, like I said, corner plot guys, there are going to be angled walls. You've got a large bed here as well. Bedside tables either side. It is a bit tight over here if you come over here, but it's nothing unbearable. It's using the space as kind of as best as we can considering it's an angle plot. So we, like I said, this bed is appears to me to either be a double or a king size, but that's more than you would kind of expect. And then you've got your um, radiator there. I like the lighting and everything, but I'm trying not to get distracted. You've got a window here facing kind of that angle and then another window facing over there. And I love that there's integrated, oh, should we say fitted wardrobes 
um, <clears throat> already thought out and these are really good quality so these are gonna be an upgrade guys they won't come standard but that's room number one let's go into room number two room number two is staged as a kid's room but as you can see you know without much imagination you already know that this is a room that a, a toddler a small child can grow up into you could definitely make this into a double double bed upgrade this to a double bed have a bedside table kind of in front of the radiator a little bit or you can kind of flip it the other way around and have the head of the bed over here but yeah there's a lot of space to play with toys in this area a large window and then a desk here because we know kids absolutely love doing their homework obviously as they grow older you can make this kind of like a combination have this as a wardrobe with a desk next to it instead if you want but yeah it's a good size let's keep moving so the next room is the family bathroom oh interesting l-shaped <laughs> there's a lot of quirky shaped um footprints in here so large bath absolutely love that and the tiling is incredible absolutely love the waved tiling floor to ceiling again floor to ceiling is usually an upgrade check with your developer you've got a shower over bath with a kind of a hinge glass uh, divider screen you've got half height tiling for the rest of the bathroom starting with your sink a large sink as well with a pedestal you've got your toilet over there uh, oh, I'm so glad I took a cheeky look at what brand this is. This is Villaroy & Bloch, so that's fantastic. Not many um, house builders use that brand. It's a very reputable brand. You'll catch it in hotels. Villaroy & Bloch, that's great. The toilet as well by Villaroy & Bloch, fantastic. Radiator and a window, I love that. They've also added, oh, I thought this was a towel rail, but it, it's a non-functional one. It's just a decorative one. But yeah, this is your family bathroom. Comment below if you like the kind of unique angles of this floor plan. And then this, with this little open me symbol, is your kind of your powerhouse, your, your hot water cylinder. And that is kind of implying you're going to be having thermostatic showers, not electric showers. They're going to be strong, powerful showers and hot water delivered exactly when you need it. And before we go into the kind of the final room, I want to just point out the hallway does have a window which is absolutely great if everyone's at home and the doors are closed you still have light natural light coming into this space which is fantastic so let's look at the last room you're not going to be disappointed guys come with me it's got its own thermostat which is great so you can heat this room to whatever temperature you want you've got a large window at the end and this humongous bed in the middle fantastic so large 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 bed as you can see and if I just walk over here you can see the proportions of the room so you've got another large bedside table here large headboard ceiling heights again probably if not 2.4 they're close to that the window itself like I said is large you've got a radiator and then opposite the window we've got this mirrored sliding door oops fantastic fitted floor to ceiling great if you're kind of a bit I've heard of people not really liking mirrors you can obviously change the doors because these are not going to be standard fitted wardrobes are expensive guys and they're going to be an upgrade you've got a little dressing nook here as well which can be easily swapped for a tv for a tv watchers if you like to watch netflix in bed like me <laughs> so yeah this is fantastic guys dressing area makeup station kind of work from home if you absolutely had to but yeah the space around the bed is lovely this is what, what we're talking about when we talk about proportions another radiator over here and remember it's independently temperature controlled so it's great um you don't have to worry about not being energy efficient you can control this the way you want and this is the ensuite in this room villa room box sink and toilet we've got a regular radiator you've got a window half height tiling a really unusual position to put the shaver socket but that is actually a really common thing i've seen shaver sockets in really strange places but yeah you probably put it the charge there and then put your toothbrush there and then the cable would go over there and then you've got your shower absolutely beautiful large shower you step up into the shower tray and guys scratch what i said about the thermostatic shower this particular show home, they've opted for this being an electric shower. So that's something you can negotiate with the house builder. It's to do with the boiler and the hot water cylinder, if it can accommodate 
a thermostatic shower or not is completely up to the developer. So I, I was wrong, guys. You have thermostatic showers and an electric shower. Tiling here is fantastic. And I think that pretty much concludes the tour. I have loved coming around this house with you. I love the quirks. What did you see? Did you see anything unusual? Let me know, but most of all subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next video, which will pop up either here or here and see you soon. Bye.